Guys, what's going on? I hope you're all well. Um, let's talk Billy Joe Saunders and Shefat Asufi. Um, we saw uh, Billy Joe Saunders give Shefat Asufi a little bit of a slap um, as they were as he as they were both, you know. Um, they were firstly they were they was heated, intense, um, head face to face. They both had their head you know, on each other. Um, and then Billy Joe, as they were moving away, Billy Joe gave him a slap um, on the face. Um, a Sufi didn't take it too kindly to it. Uh, there wasn't no brawl or nothing, but, you know, it was um, Billy Joe, you know, trying to get into the guy's head. Um, those those guys that, those guys, I think uh, a Sufi might be Turkish or, you know, these guys are have ice in their veins. They don't really get riled up too much they are, you know the the you know we don't know how good this guy is um he's probably nowhere near the level of a billy joe saunders and billy joe should comfortably beat this guy in terms of their weight a sufi's fought at cruiserweight and it's crazy to think that now he's making super middleweight and he was actually 167.4 and billy joe was 168 pounds now Surely he must have been a cruiserweight that was just fat and overweight for him to fight at cruiserweight. There was no way he looks like a cruiserweight to me, but he must, like I said, he must have been completely out of shape to be fighting at that weight. Um, and then he fought at light heavyweight, and now he fought at super middleweight. Probably this is his natural weight, and this is the weight he should be fighting at if he's, you know, follows a good diet plan. And and we like to think that you know trains hard, and we we like to think that you know fighting for a world title, uh, he would have he would have you know, trained really hard, been very meticulous in his training and his diet, which hopefully would have been on point. Um, he looked good at the way he looked in good shape. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders looked well. And tomorrow, is Billy Joe Saunders going to become a two-weight world champion? Yeah, I think so. I think this guy's not going to be on his level and I think Billy Joe's going to school him and win quite comfortably. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders is the master of mind games. He tries to get in your head. And he tried to do that the way in Shifa Sufi. A lot of people were actually saying that um, Billy Joe Saunders was quite quiet yesterday. Well, that guy doesn't speak English, I don't think. So it'll be pointless him trying to get into that guy's head because he's not, he's not going to understand what he's saying. Whereas at the way in, when he's face to face, you know, his actions can get into his head. His actions can get under that guy's skin. So that's why he's probably done what he did at the way in because he knows that he knows that he couldn't say anything to him to get under his skin because he wouldn't understand. So this is probably the best way to get under his skin. Uh, what do you guys make um, of the weigh-in? Uh, do you give Shifa Asufi any chance? I don't. I think Billy Joe Saunders will win quite comfortably. What did you make of them looking at the weigh-in? Do you think Billy Joe Saunders looked well? Do you think he can fire that way against the top boys at 168? Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.